everybody to our Broadway Bliss Review Show. It's going to be a fantastic night tonight filled with familiar songs and hopefully some new to you songs that will fast become some of your favorites. My name is Stephanie LeBlanc and I'm your MC tonight. I would like to say that I begged my beautiful sister Andrea to be your MC, <laughs> but it's one of those things, folks. Being voluntold is part of your life <laughs> when you're related to Andrea. <laughs> Truly, though, I am very happy to be here. Um, just a little housekeeping tips if people could take their phones, because I'm guessing most of you have one. Just turn it off, silent, vibrate. We just don't want those ringing during the songs. Thank you. Anyway, as the song said, oh, one more thing. Forgot, I'm forgetting my job already. Um, Excellent. Yes, I know. I've got notes, but Anne said something right before we came in, and I forgot it already. Um, just the mixture of people here up tonight is a mixture of two different choirs. It's the Trinity United Choir, United Church Choir, and the Silvertones Choir. So there's, they're going to be mixing and matching here tonight. And then there's the soloists as well. So the first song that we just sang was from the musical Annie Get Your Gun with lyrics and music by Irving Berlin, written in 1946. That is 78 years ago. <laughs> the story is a fictionalized version of the life of Annie Oakley, a sharpshooter that starred in Buffalo Bill's Wild West and her romance with Frank Butler. An interesting fact about this show is that one of the brothers from the Dukes of Hazard played the leading man opposite Bernadette Peters in this 1999 revival. Now, Andrea actually had a crush on, uh, on this guy, Tom Wopat, who was on Broadway with Bernadette Peters. Um, he can really sing. He's amazing. <clears throat> I, uh, I preferred the blonde brother, John Schneider. <laughs> anyway, I digress. <laughs> Our next performer is Marion Larie. Marion is going to sing a song that I'm sure most of you are quite familiar with, I Got Rhythm. It's a song written by George and Ira Gershwin in 1930. In 1992, the musical Crazy For You featured this tune. Another notable fact about this tune is that Ethel Merman recorded this in 1979 off her album, Ethel Merman Disco Album. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make this up. Without further ado, Marion Lurie. <clears throat>
next performer is Carolyn McLeod McCarthy. She is going to sing She Used to Be Mine from the Broadway musical Waitress. It is an adaptation of the 2000 film by the same name. All songs in this show are written by Sarah Bareilles and opened on Broadway in 2016. This number takes place in Act Two of the musical when Jenna is reflecting on her life, thinking about the kind of person she once was and how her life has disappointed her. Take it away, Carolyn. It's not simple to say that most days I don't recognize me. These shoes and this apron, that place and its patrons have taken more than I gave them. It's not easy to know I'm not anything like I used to be, although it's true. I was never attention sweet center. I still remember that girl. She's imperfect, but she tries. She is good, but she lies. She is hard on herself. She
Our next song will feature the Silvertones Choir. Andrea often talks about directing this choir and how much she loves directing them. I know for a fact that she tells lots of stories during their rehearsals, and I have been told that I am of often featured in them. <laughs> and I'm sure she never exaggerates, <laughs> ever. Thanks, Anne. <clears throat> Skip to page. Excuse me. There we go. Anyway, <laughs> the song the Silvertones are going to sing is from the musical Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, written by Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice in 1968. It is generally the opening and closing song of the musical, sung by Joseph. Interesting fact about this show, it was the first musical I was in. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone cares. Oh gosh, 1991, I think. Anyway, the song is called Any Dream Will Do. Take it away, Silvertones. is no stranger to the Trinity stage, I would like to welcome John Bai, who is going to sing the aria Summertime. This song was composed in 1934 by George Gershwin and DuBose Howard for the opera Porgy and Bess. 
This song soon became a popular and much recorded jazz standard. Stephen Sondheim characterized Hayward's lyrics for Summertime as the best lyrics in musical theater. That's quite a statement. I give you John By. choose a song that might be new to a lot of you here tonight. It is two from the musical Waitress, written by Sarah Bareilles. When He Sees Me is a song sung by the character Dawn, who is quite trepidatious about dating. One cannot be too careful these days. I could tell you some stories about some online dating. <laughs> Come see me after the show. <laughs> I stick with real things, usually facts and figures. One information. 
patience in its place I minimize the guessing game Guess what? I don't like guessing games Or when I feel things Before I know the feelings How am I supposed to operate If I'm just tossed around by fate? Like on an unexpected date From a stranger who might talk too fast Or ask me questions about myself Before I've decided that He can ask me questions about myself He might sit too close Or call the waiter by his first name Or eat Oreos But eat the cookie before the cream But what scares me the most What scares me the most is what if when he sees me what if he doesn't like it what if he runs the other way and i can hide from it what happens then if when he knows me what if he's disappointed what if i give myself away So that when he sees me, I want him to. I'm not defensive. I'm simply being cautious. You cannot be too careful when it comes to dating today. in line. I've seen in movies, those made for television. You cannot be too careful when it comes to sharing your life. I could end up a miserable wife. Oh, jeez. Well, he could be criminal, some sort of psychopath who escaped from an institution somewhere where they don't have girls. He could have masterminded some way to find me. He could be colorblind. How untrustworthy is that? He could be less than kind. Or even worse, he could be very nice, have lovely eyes, and make me laugh, come out of hiding. <sighs> what do I do with that? Oh, God. What if when he sees me, what if I like him and he knows? Someone who, when he sees me, wants to again. Our next performer is Winnie de la Cruz. She is going to sing a song from the musical Jekyll and Hyde. It debuted on Broadway in 1997 and is loosely based on the 1886 novella, The Strange Case of Dr. Hyde and Mr. Hyde. The musical features music by Frank Wildhorn and Leslie Bricus. 
Someone Like You is sung by the character Lucy after thanking Jekyll with a kiss. She breaks out into this love song. Our next song is perhaps one of the more well-known songs of the night. It was originally written as a pop song by Elton John and Bernie Taupin. It was Elton's first international top 10 chart single. You may be asking yourself, isn't this a Broadway review show? 
And yes, this song is featured in the Jude Box musical Moulin Rouge that opened on Broadway in 2019 and is still running. The musical embraces the theme that life is beautiful. And what a beautiful theme that is. Danny Ray will now perform your song for all of us. It's a little bit funny, this feeling inside. I'm not one of those who can easily hide. I'm not has money. Boy, if I did, I'd buy a big house where we both could live. If I were a sculptor, but then again, no man who makes potions for a traveling show. I know it's not much, but the best I can do. My gift is my song, yeah, this one's for you. And you can tell everybody this is your song. It may be quite simple, but now that it's done, I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind that I put down in words. You're in the world Sat on the roof and Kicked off the moss With a few of the verses Really got me quite cross The sun's been quite kind While I wrote this song Get in, but these things I do, you see, I've forgotten. The yeah. the green, they don't have much, much. But what I'll say, yours are the sweetest eyes I've ever seen. It may be quite simple, but now that you're gone, I hope you don't mind, I hope you don't mind, better put it down in words, how wonderful life is while well, you're in the world. You're in the world. Our next song is from the musical Music Man. 
The book, music, and lyrics are by Meredith Wilson, based on a story by Wilson and Franklin Lacey. The plot concerns con man Harold Hill, who poses as a band leader and salesman who promises to train members of a new band. He is no musician and plans to get the town's people's money and skip town. Prim librarian and piano teacher Marion Peru sees through him, but when Harold actually helps her younger brother overcome his lisp, Marion begins to fall in love with him. I would like to welcome Liv McQueen to the stage to sing Till There Was You. is from the movie musical, The Greatest Showman, released in 2017. This show starred Hugh Jackman as a little throwback. Oh wait, sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry, I'm caught up here. This show starred Hugh Jackman and as a little throwback to our previous song from The Music Man, he just finished a revival of that show with Sutton Foster. I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. <laughs> Everything is so connected. 
Not for me all the time, but <laughs> for other people. <sighs> this song is called Never Enough, written by the songwriting team Pasek and Paul. It is a touching love song about there never being enough time with the person you love. I would like to welcome Ruben Ong to the stage to perform this for us tonight. to hold my breath, let it stay this way, can't let this moment end, you set off a dream in me, getting I hope she's okay. 
Oh, well, <laughs> I'm not going to go find out. We got to keep going here. Um, uh, so um, this puts a bit of a hitch in our next song. The next song we're going to do is called One from a chorus line. And um, we had big plans for Steph to come in on a harness off the balcony <laughs> and do a dance. John, bye. Would you do that? <laughs> well, as the saying goes, and Steph has said a few times, the show must go on. So um, I present to you the Trinity Choir singing the song, One. I love show tunes. You know, believe it or not, I had a big role many, many, many moons ago in a show called Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> no, not, you guys look confused. It's not horrors, scary. It's, it's scary, it's the scary horrors, not the trampy kind. No. Um, anyway, I digress. I, uh, I played Audrey, too. The plant. <laughs> it weeds people. It was, got messy. Got a little messy. Anyway, um, well, has anyone seen my sister? Her name's Wilhelmina Crazy. <laughs> also with the K. <laughs> Anyone seen her? No one's seen her. Well, isn't that a little suspicious? Well, she sent me in here 
to see if I could find some eligible man for her. <laughs> Any eligible men? <laughs> you guys are so quick to offer. Come on down here. Trevor's. <laughs> What's your middle name? James. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> well, moving on. What's your name? Greg. Greg. Do you have any special uh, talents? Dance. Dance? Okay, <laughs> show me. <laughs> Not bad. You're tall. She likes them tall. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Ross. Ross, you are cute. <laughs> What's your special talent? My special talent is to say today's May the 4th. <laughs> May the 4th be with you. <laughs> do you do any Star Wars impersonations? Not really. no. That was it. <laughs> I don't know if Willie likes. Star Wars. I'm not Eunice, sure. What are you doing, Eunice? <laughs> there you are. Where have you been? I've been in the bus waiting for you all this time. You told me to come in to find an eligible man. I've got three right here. on too long. <laughs> the front's just sticking right up there. I like it that way, Unit. Anyway, hi everybody. My name is Wilhelmina Crazy. What the heck is going on here anyway, Unit? It's a Broadway night. We just seem to stumble into shows everywhere we go. <laughs> just have We can't here. help it. Anyway, um, Eunice. Yes. Maybe we should tell these people what's going on with us where we're coming from today. Well, we were on a bingo bus tour. <laughs> we had good luck there. We made lots of money. In Bangor. In Bangor, Maine. Yeah. Yes, and uh, we won $387.54. Sounds like a lot, but we've been there since 2011. <laughs> <laughs> Kept getting on the wrong bus. We got on the wrong bus in Bangor. We thought we were going back to New Brunswick. We did, to Memron Cook. Memron Cook. Where we're from. Did you tell them that you were in Little Shop of Horrors? I did. Okay. Um, at the Memron Cook Theater Company. She was the plant. You were something else in that unit. I know. Anyway, I digress. Uh, yes, we, we, were in, we were in Bangor, and we, <laughs> we were trying to get back to New Brunswick. Well, we got on a bus. What we thought was the bus... Heading back to New Brunswick. It was a very attractive bus because all the people on the bus were solid gold dancers. <laughs> I'm, tell I'm not making this up. <laughs> they were some glamorous. Some glamorous, some sparkly, and a little smelly because polyester does not brace. It does not. <laughs> and the air conditioning broke in the bus. We wound it up in... Uh, Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. Yes, we were in Las Vegas, so we've been there. We were there quite a while. A long time. We were there a long time, and Eunice decided she was going to gamble, and you went and you put three hundred and eighty-seven dollars and fifty-three cents down on the table. Well, 
Well, our trip. you were telling about how I was going to play blackjack. Black yes, she was going to play blackjack. She put all our money, $387.53 on the table. She was thinking we were going to double it because that was our life savings and that was pretty much all the money we had. Yep. She lost it all. She put, she, she put it down on the poker table. So we had no money. So then you had to find out. I had to go looking in the classifieds for a job. Yes. <laughs> in Vegas. In Vegas. It's not easy. <clears throat> but there was a wanted ad mm -hmm. for someone to look after. Okay, backstory. Shania Twain was doing her residency there, right. and she had a live horse on that stage. Yes, she and did. And she was looking for someone to look care of the court, uh, look after the horse. <laughs> Clifford. Clifford the horse. So, we got interviewed, we got the job. We did get the job. Yep. But we should digress, unit. What? Well, we got the job, and it was a good job. Mm-hmm. Except the horse went missing. And whose fault was that? I was very distracted. Barry Manilow and Barry Gibb showed up at the show, and they both wanted to date me. It was very hard to be me that night. Anyway, the horse went missing, we got fired. It was very painful at the time, wasn't it, Eunice? Yep, so th we've spent all this time trying to get back to New Brunswick. Yes. We're in Ontario now, I think. I think we are. Yeah, yeah. Jay, that girl over there says we are. <laughs> I almost said what I thought could be her name, but I don't know how I would know that. <laughs> anyway, I'm having another hot flash. Shocker. And I think I gotta pee. So I gotta go. I'm gonna wait for you in the bus. What? I did get us a job, though, back in New Brunswick when we get there. You did? What yeah. are we going to be doing? We're going to do some clam digging. Oh, for Lord's sakes. I'm going to be so painful. <laughs> I'm being in the bus. I better put the mic back. I'm like, where are you going with that microphone? <laughs> Hurry up, Eunice. <laughs> <clears throat> that hair is some bouncy. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll introduce the next person. The thing's right here. Who's Hal? Ooh, look at you. You're a cutie pie. I can introduce you over here. You can stay there. It's whatever you want. You stay there? Okay. It's fine. It's fine. So, Hal is going to sing a song from the beloved musical, Les Miserables. <laughs> I don't think I've heard of that one before. <laughs> this is considered a sing-through musical with music by Schoenberg and Elaine, 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 based on the 1862 novel of the same name by Victor Hugo. The original French musical premiered in Paris in 1980. The English language adaptation has been running in London since 1985, making it the longest running musical in the West End and the second longest running musical in the world after the original off-Broadway run of the Fantastics. My lord, that's a long sentence. <laughs> A film adaptation was released in 2012. The song Stars is sing sung by Javert. Javert? The, I never heard that name before. The police, office, the police officer who relentlessly pursues Val Jane to bring the escaped convict to justice. Well, isn't that a perfect name of a song for you? I just see stars when I look at you. <laughs> Why don't you come on up here, cutie pie, get all set up. I don't know where the piano player went. It's hard to find good help these days. <laughs> so, Hal is born, oh, Oz, Oz born, sorry, will now sing stars. I think I need to pee now, too, actually. 
They want me to sing a serious song after all this nonsense. <laughs> and a thing. Okay. Our next song is from the musical Beauty and the Beast with music by Alan Menken, lyrics by Howard Ashman and Tim Rice. It tells the story of an unkind prince who has been magically transformed into an unsightly creature as punishment for his selfish ways. To revert to, into his true human form, the beast must learn to love a bright, beautiful young lady 
who he has imprisoned in his enchanted castle before it's too late. Rachel Guthrie will now perform the song Home, sung by Belle, where she is summoned to have dinner with the beast and is mourning her situation. Fool. 
Our next performer is one of my oldest and dearest friends, Jana Party. We have known each other. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Got some fans here tonight. Uh, we have known each other for about 30 years, and she too has been voluntold many times <laughs> by the adorable and sometimes demanding Andrea. <laughs> Janet is going to sing a song from the musical slash song cycle slash theatrical event, Songs for a New World, written by Jason Robert Brown. The song, Stars and the Moon, tells the story of a woman dreaming of a life filled with stars and Hollywood glamour and the loves that she encountered along her life's journey. You know, it's true, I have known Andrea and Steph for 30 years. It's quite frightening, actually. <laughs> and you know, um, these women are very proud New Brunswickers. So honestly, guys, you kind of missed out. You sort of missed, there's these people here from New Brunswick. They were trying to get back to New Brunswick. I can't believe you missed it. <laughs> honestly. I they were really cute. <laughs> they were interesting, I'll tell you that. They were very, very interesting. So I'm going to come over here and sing beside you. OK, good. Or, or maybe I won't. I can do this. I can do this. I love you, too. I 
I'd rather have champagne. I met a man who had a fortune in the bank, who had retired at age 30, set for life. I met a man and didn't know which stars to thank. And then he asked one day if I would be his wife. And I looked up and all that I could think of was the life I had dreamt I would live. And I said to him, Okay. And I took a breath and I got my yacht and the years went by and it never changed and it never grew and I never dreamed and I woke one day and I looked around and I thought oh my god I'll never have the Former is my dear sister Andrea LeBlanc. She is going to sing a song written as well by Jason Robert Brown from the show The Last Five Years. The show premiered in 2001 and has had numerous productions since then all around the world. The story explores a five year relationship between Jamie, a rising novelist, and Kathy, a struggling actress. The show uses a form of storytelling in which Jamie's story is told in chronological order, starting just after the couple had first met. And Kathy's story is told in reverse chronological order, beginning the show at the end of the marriage. This is where Andrea starts the story of Kathy with the song, Still Hurting. Jamie is over and Jamie is gone. Jamie's decided it's time to move on. Jamie has new dreams he's building upon. And I'm still.
something wonderful died. Jamie decides it's his right to decide. Jamie's got secrets he doesn't confide. And I'm still hurting. Go and hide and run. Jamie is over and where can I turn? Covered with scars, I did nothing to earn. Maybe there's somewhere a lesson to learn. But that wouldn't change the fact. That wouldn't speak. The final solo number of the show will be performed by Danny Ray. If any of you were here, were fortunate, <laughs> sorry, if any of you were fortunate to be present for Trinity's Jesus Christ Superstar in concert in 2017, you will remember Danny's rendition of this powerful song that opens the musical. Jesus Christ Superstar is a sung through rock opera with music by Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice. It's loosely based on the Gospels accounts of the Passion of Jesus, with, with much of the plot centered on Judas, who is dissatisfied with the direction Jesus is steering his disciples. The show debuted on Broadway in 1971 and by 1980, the musical had grossed more than 237 million worldwide. Danny will now sing Heaven on Their Minds, a profoundly introspective song that encapsulates a moment of critical reflection and forewarning about the direction of Jesus's mission. Anne wrote this, not me. <laughs> Thank you, though. That's, that's very nice.
My mind is clearer now At last, all too well I can see where we all soon will be If you strip away The myth from the man you will see where we all soon will be.
performers, all of you, for being here. It has been a lot of extra rehearsing and late nights, so thank you. Oh, you just keep going. I just want to make sure we don't forget anything. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to everyone who came out tonight to support our show. Yes, thank you everyone for coming out. Thank you. This all started with an idea that Andrea had back in January, and here we are tonight. Mm -hmm. Thank you to everyone who helped with operating the lifts and taking the free will offering. And if you haven't left a free will offering, you're more than welcome to leave something on the way out. There's a little table out back. Um, <laughs> thank you for people setting up the chairs and helping out with the logistics and all of our techies up in the balcony. Thank you. <laughs> I just want to thank um, the Trinity Choir and the Silver Tones. They put a lot of extra rehearsals in, and you guys are so wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And the soloists. Weren't they spectacular? Oh my God. I only have talented friends. It's been a great night and we would like to leave you with one more song. This song is from the rock musical Rent, written by Jonathan Larson and premiering on Broadway in 1996. It's loosely based on the opera La Boheme by Puccini. The song Seasons of Love will now be performed by the Trinity Choir, the Silver Tones and our soloists.
thank our beloved Andrea and Stephanie for all the work that they have put into this lovely evening of concert. And we know how much you work, Andrea. I've been lucky, I sing in the, in the Trinity Choir and also in the Silver Tones. So I get to see Andrea lots. <laughs> You're so lucky! <laughs> I am lucky! So, <clears throat> we would like to present these flowers to you and Stephanie. And thanks for all that you do. 